cross-contamination. Everything has been washed. Okay, so you can cube this. Okay, so the technique is you scoop down or you slide, slant the knife to remove the core. So see? Remove the And then cut it into cubes. And then later, when you serve it, you have an option to uh, slice it thinly like this um, if they want to add uh, more um, apples. So instead of using your pickle relish, this adds um, extra crunch. So I'll add this here. So I don't remove the skin anymore because I find it also adds um, texture to our extra crunch and texture to our Spread. Okay. And then we'll set aside our apples. And then I have some basil. Fresh basil. Okay. So we'll slice it into strips. So the best way to do it is to pile them all up in um I teach my students this. We call this chiffonade. Okay, so we roll it. And then just slice. Into strips. You can add more. If you want to use the, the bottled pesto, you can use that also. So I'll set this aside. Okay. Add some mayonnaise. Um, for the recipe, we will post this. Post the recipe. So you can do it at home. For now, I'm eyeballing it. Okay. So. We'll use this. Later, we'll also do egg and chicken. So let's mix. Let's combine this gently. Of course, you have to season with salt and pepper later. So we'll add the basil. So fresh is always best. So during the quarantine, ang mga available sa atin, mga canned goods, we have tuna, we have sausage, we have corned beef. So, para hindi naman nakakasawa what we make at home. So, season with salt and pepper. So, if you want to add another layer of crunch, you can add toasted nuts to any of the sandwiches for the chicken, for the tuna. Okay. So, tatlong klase tong gagawin natin para iba-iba yung Pwede niyong matikman. Mmm! Tamang-tama lang siya. So this one, we'll set aside. 
Okay, so for the next um, spread, we have the chicken uh, with honey mustard uh, dressing. So, I have here roast chicken, leftover lechon manok. Pwede siya. So, kung yung fried chicken nyo, may natira rin kayo para hindi sayang. Cut it up like this. Okay. So, we'll add again some mayonnaise. mustard okay. and some honey so we'll do like two teaspoons of honey we'll also add some apples uh, to this if you want to add celery or onions, you can. But since, like, what I shared with you, kung ano yung meron, that's what I used. Okay. And then, so make sure you always simot. Kasi sayang. Yung mga ingredients, ang mahal na yun. So, let's stir this. Okay, again, salt. Not too heavy on the salt because your chicken may lasa na siya. Okay. And then later sa assembly. So, I have leftover um, apples from earlier. So, we'll add some again. May BB to. some more apples for crunch. Kung merong green, um, yung Granny Smith na apple, pwede siya. Para, um, there's color also in your uh, what you are doing. Um, because that's one way of making it more appetizing. You may nakikita different colors, especially for kids. No, They eat with, it, with their eyes. Pag mukhang masarap, of course, before we even taste the food, if it's presented nicely, if it's colorful, it will already give an impact, okay? So, nasa sa inyo to, uh, kung ano pa yung iba yung gustong i-add, okay? I leave it up to you. Be creative. Use your imagination. Mm. So, iba-iba yung malalasahan nyo ha. Merong pesto, may merong honey mustard, and then yung next, simple egg salad. Okay. So, ito, I'll set aside the other things. It's just mash using a fork. But this time, I'm, I'm going to use, ano, Japanese mayonnaise. Just mash. So this is the the reason why na inspire ako. Kasi when we give assignments in our class, um, since I teach grade school and high school, um, the first weeks, um, it was kind of hard because they had to take videos of um, the recipes that we give them. And then, uh, we really made, made it a point to, do, to let them do it on weekends so they can have like time with their families, um, parang a bonding time. And aside from that, of course, kids need um, adult supervision. So, nakita ko na maraming parents, mommies and daddies, na sobrang nag enjoy uh, doing this with their children, with their kids. And ayoko rin naman silang pahirapan na since sila yung bumibili ng ingredients, I had to adjust the recipes for them kung yung anong feeling ko, yung meron sa bahay nila. So, it inspired me to share and 
create recipes for parents na gusto ng matuto yung mga anak nyo. Okay. So, let's add some Japanese mayo. some cheese to this. This is quick melt cheese. Ang nakakamiss sa face-to-face -face class is when we cook yung mga dishes yung mga kids, they would approach me saying that it's really good and then you would know. Alam mo na hindi sila nagsisinungaling kasi whenever they get their share, I always remind them na magtira for their parents na matikman. Kaso minsan hindi na nakakarating ng bahay. Nakakain na nila, ka, nila kaagad. Okay? But it's a validation na masarap yung ginagawa nila. Kasi nauubos nila. And now naman, ang maganda, right after the class, nagme-message sila na nasarapan sila sa pagkain. Pati yung parents. And then, minsan yun na yung merienda nila, yun na yung lunch nila. Okay. So, a little pepper. If you don't want to use black pepper, you can use white pepper kung ayaw nyo ng specs. Okay, so again, let's try. So always have a tasting spoon, ha? Hindi pa pwedeng wala kasi, you know, yung contamination, cross-contamination. Hmm, okay. Okay na to. So I'll show you how to present this. Okay, so I'll show you one way of presenting this. So I have tortilla. Actually, ito yung nauuso ngayon pag-present. Cut mo lang in the middle. I'm using yung tuna. Okay. So one side. Tuna. So parang lagyan mo lang ng mark four triangles. And then there's apples. And then I have um, cheese singles. And then yung isa, lalagyan natin ng fresh basil. So, medyo nag nag tanggal. Okay. Three. So, parang up, ano siya yung apat. Okay, and then some basil. Okay, 
and maybe since I have roasted nuts, we can add. So you do it this way. Or pwedeng pabaliktad, ganyan. And then, roll it. And then one side. Okay, and then, we can, you can eat it na this way, a triangle, or you can heat it in a pan. Sige, we can do that. Add a little olive oil or butter. Not too much though. Ano siya, medyo magbina. Not, don't put na lang too much filling. Okay? Yan. So, that will melt. Let's clean this up. Always clean as you go when you are cooking. So, there. That will give extra color and let's get the burner and let's turn it let's see if it's brown or if it's golden there so it doesn't have to be really really dark brown golden brown is okay so when you bite into it all the flavors are there so there's apples, there's cheese the tuna that we made. So, masarap siyang kainin kasi pagkagat mo, lahat ng guna. Okay. So, let's turn it off. Sorry, there's a biha. There's ciabatta. There's um, ciabatta, focaccia. And we have some crostini. There, we have lavash. Okay, so it's up to you how you want to present it. Even tasty bread na iba-ibang klase pwede siya. So you just be creative. So yun yung iiwan ko palagi sa inyo. I leave it up to you. Be creative. Use your imagination. Thank you and see you again. Thank you. 